the lookout continues. Who let the dogs out? The lookout did. A limo, Los Angeles, sunshine, palm trees, glamour. You might be thinking I'm headed for a red carpet event. Not quite. I'm in the back of that limo with three dogs. Huxley, you excited? We're on a guy's day out. By we, I'm talking me, my boy Bory, Big Reggie, and Husky Huxley. My buddies for the day. And our destination, the Barclay Pet Hotel and Spa. I feel like I'm on a hairy bachelor party. Hairy and smelly. Reggie, was that you? Americans now spend a totally whopping and barely believable $53.3 billion a year on their pets. So how much could the four of us blow in a single day at a high-end dog spa? I've also brought along some extraordinary pet products, which we'll test at the Barclay. It's a funny feeling I might have to dry clean my pants after today. Would the boys even like it? Out you come, Huxley. Four pints of gruel later. Time for check-in. Hello. Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, this is uh, Bory. We've got Reggie and Huxley. We're here for a bit of day spa. Oh, nice. Well, I do have a room on Rodeo Drive all ready for you. Perfect. You can prep before their spa treatment. Oh. Yep, Rodeo Drive, complete with every doggy pun you can imagine. Some of them are actually pretty funny. A couple of beds, a couple of towels. Oh, don't forget, we also have flat-screen television entertainment. But, I mean, all this stuff, I mean, don't dogs just want to sniff each other's butts? Isn't Aww. that good enough? Isn't that entertainment well, enough? You are on Rodeo Drive. You know, they do sniff each other's butts, but why not do it with the finest amenities, the finest custom bedding? We have the chew toys there, and they also get tummy tuck-ins, bedtime stories, um, as well, here on Rodeo Drive. Really? They do. Every night. These people are insane. Sweet on Rodeo Drive, 85 bucks a night. After a complimentary non-alcoholic cocktail of uh, tap water, the chaps moved through for their treatments. We'll give you a little celebrity package today. We'll give you a nice mud mask all over your body. Celebrity package, that's 45 bucks, and the mud is mud all the way from the Dead Sea. This is actually made with blueberry extracts designed to brighten and really clean and exfoliate the face. The guys kind of liked it, but how much can they really like it? They're dogs. Time for Bory's Pordicure non-toxic nail polish. Comes with the celebrity package, but on its own, 15 bucks. And this is more for the owner than the dog. This is much more for the owner than the dog. I think it looks good on you. Seriously. What do you think, Reg? Did you see the uh, little nail polish? Meanwhile, Huxley is getting a blow dry. Get in under the old double chin there, Huxley. The Barclay also offers dogs off-campus dining options. Transportation to the local Jack in the Box drive-thru. Reggie was gay. Hey, can I please just get a plain hamburger with nothing on it? Thank you very much. All right, Reggie. No napkins for him. Thank you, sir. Reggie was suspicious. Well, I can't have it now. You've licked it. So pampered, he's declining beef. You're a spoiled dog. You don't know how easy you've got it. Now, there are all kinds of products you can buy to coddle your favorite canine, so we brought along a whole shopping cart full to try out on the boys back at the spa. Here's another doggy dining option. It's working for you? Yeah, kind of a high chair so your dog can eat with you. Cost 50 bucks. What do you think, boy? Do you like your chair? Your nails are looking great. Bory clearly wasn't digging it. Was it something I said? Pickle? We brought along a top-notch veterinarian, Dr. Jessica Vogelsang, to evaluate all of our doggy paraphernalia and to put my mind at rest. They don't really view mealtime as a social hour the way that we do, right? So, you know, we're sitting here, we're shooting the breeze, taking a bite. Dogs just want to eat and then get on with their life. Then, lunch with Huxley. Release the hand. Which one will Huxley go for? I tried him with this stylish, raised, ergonomic dog feeder. Cost $100. Apparently helps with digestion. I hear that female dogs think it's very attractive when a male dog eats from one of these. But there was no shifting Huxley's snout until the bowl on the floor was licked. Clean. How's that working out for you? Could I get to the bottom of his bold choice by using the bow lingual, cost a hundred bucks, which claims to translate barks into English? Oh, talk to me, Huxley. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. We just don't communicate anymore, Huxley. 
There's obviously an issue between us, but I am listening. Your body language is speaking volumes here, but, uh, oh, analyzing. Huxley just says, leave me alone. Maybe this thing does work. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's on Bori's mind. I might bite. Listen, dude, I could take you in a fight. Be like that. And after lunch, uh, something to make the owner's lives easier, the, uh, the poo trap. A kind of mankini to hold a bag in place to catch poop. Cost $44 plus the bags. Up you come, Huxley. We went outside just in case of malfunction. All right, Huxley. Any desire for a poo? Oh, oh no, it's missed the bag. Operator error. It missed the bag. Oh, Huxley. All told, we spent $1,014 today, but did these guys really appreciate any of it? Which gets us back to what dogs really like doing. What about the facials, the mud baths, the highlights and the nail polish? Do they need these things? No. They need food, water, love, exercise. And if you get that down, then the rest of this is just gravy. And if the dogs don't mind if they like it just a little, where's the harm? Spend your money, pamper your pooch, and enjoy yourself. <laughs>